Hey there, Postal here. So today we're going to be taking a look at the BF-109G Tier 7 German Light Fighter. Um, I'm back in this plane. I, I did grind all the way down to the ME uh, P1101 and have been grinding down the multi-roll line, the batwing line. Completely forgot to hop off and, and go down the TA-152 line. Uh, so I'm back at it. Let's hop in. Alright, so again, I'm grinding this plane to get the TA-152. Uh, I figure that's a light plane, this is a light plane, and it'll kind of continue a little bit more towards uh, what a TA-152 is. I kept this plane anyway, even before I thought about grinding down to the to the FW-252, which is the tier 10 of that particular line. Um, and it was actually, you know, I, I kept it because I really enjoyed it. Um, I've kind of learned over the the time frame that I've had it that not many people do like it, and I'm a little confused by that, to be honest. Um, so what is there to like about this particular plane? Well, at tier 7, it's a high-altitude fighter. It's up there with the... Um, you've got your P-51... Well, I'm not used to the way the tech trees lined up. The P-51D, which is a pretty high-altitude fighter as well. And then you've got your Key 84 which is, an, which is a um, decent altitude performance. Uh, people tend to fly it, I think, higher than it really should be flown. Um, there's also the I-220 at Tier 7 as far as high altitude, but that was a line I just recently went down. I kept this one as my quote-unquote high altitude performance, um, and I loved it because it was so much different than the only Tier 7 um, turn fighter that I kept, which was the A7M. Well, what makes this difference? Well, besides the altitude performance, the gun layout. There's two 13 mils, which, I mean, they're 13 mils, so they're not anything uh, that's going to overwhelm anybody. But you've got this 30 mil cannon on the front, and it's not got the best damage per second, but you're going to notice in-game it's it fires quite consistently and quite rapidly for a 30 mil. Uh, it doesn't have the best um, firing range. Uh, the, this whole um, platform actually has relatively short range when it comes to firing its guns, but once it gets on target it really does tend to kind of melt down those even high hit point targets. Uh, so you'll, you'll actually see me take down some ground pounders and a couple bombers um, and, and it didn't take all that long to do thanks to this 30 mil cannon. So completely opposite of like a B, um, excuse me, a P-51D who has those um, 50 cal machine guns and just kind of mediocrely paper cuts a plane to death. Um, you know, so you've got that, that high altitude performance, a true high altitude performance that you would expect from a BF-109 line. Um, and it plays pretty similar, similarly to the planes before it. And the ME-209A that comes out right after it, it's right in line with that. So you're not going to get a plane that's kind of out of left field. Um, and if you were enjoying the planes before it, you're definitely, you should be enjoying this one, I would think. Um, I have this particular plane set up for accuracy, and the reason being is because I will, with a 30 mil cannon with just one gun that's really doing all your damage, I want to make sure that I'm able to have that damage count, so I want to make sure it hits. I've actually changed it recently to put the engine cooling on here. When I first played the game, I would use the manual engine restart. Um, that's still viable for some planes, but it's really not, it's kind of pointless for this plane. The engine's, in my experience the engines very rarely engine very rarely goes out on this particular plane um, so yeah I, I really enjoyed this plane if you look at what I've kept on the tech tree from the German line I was actually thoroughly surprised by this whole line I need to buy the BF 109 e back when I get a chance I didn't like Frederick the F but every other plane on this line I really did enjoy um, and if you like the BF 109 B you're gonna like everything all the way up at least to the ME 209 a and you'll probably like the top two, even though they're different um, game style. They've got awesome cannons on them um, and really can tear up a lot of planes that are out there. Uh, so that being said, uh, let's hop into some gameplay and see why I enjoy this plane so flippin' much. Right, BF-109G, really do like this plane. Let's see if I can make anything uh, good happen with it though. So on this map, tier 7 battle, so that's uh, going in our favor. 
got a Typhoon on the enemy team, which is definitely going to be uh, an issue in a tornado, which is pretty funny. Um, another BF-109G as far as a bot is concerned, and then a key. Let's go ahead and get ourselves up to altitude. And look, we got a uh, ME410 coming with us. Pretty weird new um, kind of bot being able to lead bots. So we need to get up higher, don't we? For whatever reason, I tend to not get... Like, if I was in an American plane, I'd get up to 7,500 feet or something like that. Um, for whatever reason, I don't do that in the BFs. And I really probably should. So let's see if we can uh, show off this uh, hub-mounted gun. 30 mil, it's not the same super long range that you get at tier 8. But it still hits pretty well. It actually fires quicker too. F7F, and a lot of people don't give that plane enough credit. It's um, if you let it get behind you, it will tear you up. But I guess you could say that about a lot of different planes. Stay up top. Excellent. Are we gonna get? What are we gonna get now? So we're gonna get this guy. Sticking with me. All right, Erwin. Let's go get him. Nice. Oh, there's somebody down below. Shorsh. So I'm going to dive down. See if we can get that sector. Ooh, we got a bomber coming in. Nice, nice. So it's nice I can kind of tell them what to do so I can do what I need to do and get them to do what they need to do. Get rid of one at a time. You want to split between the IL-8 and this guy. Nice, 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 nice. Alright, none of that. None of that shenanigans. What do we got going on here? We got that Typhoon. Who's nice enough to not pay attention. Um, I guess I'm going to go after Typhoon first. I'm not 100% sure if I can actually outmaneuver him, but it does seem like I am. Well, if I can outmaneuver a Typhoon, I guess I can outmaneuver a Tornado, so... Let's do that then, shall we? Yowzers, who's behind me? Nice. Must have been him. Uh, I guess we're not going to go get a mining facility, but it looks like our bombers are still going over there, so... Got Kent coming in, where... That FW is going away, so let's switch to him really quick. Nice. Uh, we got another one here. Unfortunately, my gun hasn't cooled off. I wish it was like an insta-cool button. You know, like a consumable or something. Luckily, his rear gunner's not doing too much to me. Yes, this plane has like just enough maneuverability to be pretty, uh, pretty impactful. So let's get back over here. My name is Jonas. Doom, 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 doom. Killing the whale. Are you trying to come up behind me? Are you trying to sneaky sneak? Yeah, 
Excellent. Cool off the guns. Not really. Slow down enough to try to get behind him. Perfect. Come on, man. Having this uh, flipping center hasn't done us much good at all, has it? So we got a typhoon we need to go get. Alright, cool. Yowzers. Oh, that F7F I was just talking about. I, mean, I wasn't just talking about him, I talked about him before. Alright, so let's go over here. Who is that light fighter? That's what I need to know. Typhoon I know I can take out. Right? Oh, his rockets! His air-to-ground rockets. Well, that didn't work for him. Um, I guess we're going to go over and defend this side now, and we'll sweep over to the center. If they even need us to sweep. Alright, nice. Let's go ahead and get... Yeah, this guy we've gotten rid of. And I can trust this is one of those light planes that I can actually trust to do that. Um, that 30 mil cannon on the front of it really is pretty significant. And will eventually tear things up. Let's go up and get this bomber if I can. It is just a doe. It's not a human operated one so it's not at 50,000 feet. Excellent. Let's get over to the center now, shall we? Well, it looks like we've pretty well got this one won. So stay up here at this height. We got a light fighter. There you are. Which probably should be the key, I would think. Oh, that could be the vf 9 g now that I think about it. Keep on looking at him. It is the vf 109 What's over there? Jonas again. So let's do what you're supposed to do. Stay up high since we're already up high. Try not to crash into our own plane. Now we'll go on down. And our mining facility should be getting like a super boost in a second here. And um, then the game will be over. Boom. Nothing to it. See what we can do over here at the at the uh, mining facility. I really don't want to go for ground pounders. I don't want to. We're already up high. Let's go get the bombers, shall we? Yep. Doesn't matter. Not too shabby of a game in the BF109G. Let's head on back. Okay, so that particular battle was, I mean, pretty run-of-the-mill battle for this plane, in my opinion. 11 frags, uh, 5,200 damage. I was trying to get some damage for the uh, mission part 2. 13,000 personal points. Um, you know, had some good help from the, the Z on our team. And oh, didn't realize I had uh, that Typhoon was um, in our, my clan. Whoopsie! But you can see why I like this plane as much as I do. And I really don't know why a lot of people don't like it. I know it's not doesn't have the long range that you might be used to at tier 8 and above. But the 30 mil cannon on this plane, as you can see in practice, is really quite awesome. Um, I'm glad to be going uh, down the line to the TA-152. But even if you're just going down, did I say just, even when you're going down the quote-unquote standard line, the ME-209A is an awesome plane in its own right. Um, and plays very similar to this style, where the TA-152 doesn't quite. Um, and it, it has a, a th different 30 mil, but... Um, yeah, so I think this is a, one of the, the many <laughs> underappreciated Tier 7s. Uh, there's quite a bit out there. A lot of people talk about some Tier 6s and Tier 8s that are out there, but... This is um, the first... Actually, it might be the only um, altitude light fighter that I have that I've kept... Oh, no, duh, I've got... Never mind. I'm going to shut up. I've got the I-220 and the, the 302 as well, but this was definitely the first altitude performance uh, light fighter that I kept, and I hope you can see why. It's been um, an you know, actual joy to play, so 
Um, thank you for joining me today. I know I've been a little bit inconsistent with the videos, but I'm going to try to get back on track with that. So uh, I definitely appreciate the support, and I hope you have a great day.